Is the execution in there? Hey, you lot! Trespasser! Think the curfew doesn't apply to you, huh? Uh-oh. Now what? Doesn't seem like there's any other way in. I say we fight our way through. Wait! I recognize them. They were with the dissident! No choice, then. Look sharp, everyone! Zephyr's still okay, isn't he? The sooner we take care of these guys, the sooner we can rescue him. If you have time to talk, maybe you could focus on the task at hand? How about you stop telling us what to do? Damn, there's just no end to these guys. Zephyr! Attention, citizens, subjects, and slaves of Cislodia. I, Lord Ganabelt Valkyris, do formally open these proceedings. Behold! The brazen worm who would dare threaten the peace and order of our fair city. As if his scheme weren't foolish enough, he then made the mistake of thinking he could hide it. Take heed, Danans, and engrave this edict into your souls. Such fools' right to life in Cislodia shall be forfeit. Now, Embedded, you should listen carefully. Before my final verdict, I am prepared to offer you an unprecedented chance at mercy. Where are your comrades? Give them up before those assembled, and I shall spare you your life. <laughs> Fine time I have. If you're so tremendously determined to suffer for the sake of your allies, then I will see to it that you do. everyone yet? Just what do you want me to say? <laughs> First, tell the people about the mistakes you made. Then, the whereabouts of your friends. <sighs> mistakes, huh? Where to start? I've made so many in my life that I've lost count. All my life I've had to fight, but I have known nothing but loss. I was so caught up in the struggle to survive in this world that I ended up neglecting my own family. I have lost so many good friends. I even lost my wife and my son. I'll never be able to fix these mistakes. Not a single one. It sounds to me as if the greatest mistake of your life was never learning to stay down when you were beaten. A good man once told me if I take up this fight, 
would have to pay a price. Turns out he was right. After all, the very people and things I was fighting to protect the most were payment. I don't regret keeping up the fight for a second. But still, not a single day goes by when I do not think about what I have lost. Not telling others how much they truly meant to me before it was too late. That is your answer. That's the greatest mistake of my life. Do yourselves a favor and never become like me. Don't continue to make the same mistakes until it's too late to fix them. Ask yourself what it is you couldn't bear to lose. What do you want to protect with all of your might? Then hold on and never let go! That's quite enough. <laughs> Listen to that voice deep inside of you. Together, no wall can hold you back. And the same goes for the ones the Lord made you build inside your own hearts! Not exactly the best time to catch up. And there's still a lord in need of beating. Yeah, you're right about that. So you're the son, are you? <laughs> I thought I'd ordered for you to be relieved of your duties until all this was over. I'll see to it the person at fault is reprimanded appropriately. What? Oh, well. You've served your purpose more excellently than anyone could have hoped. Zephyr! If it isn't the infamous Alphen of Calaglia. And he's joined by his fellow conspirators, the likes of Traitor and a Danon Witch. They're not conspirators. They're friends. And they're not alone. Oh, Minnick! You finally made it! Your reign is over right now! You hear me, Cannabelt? The Master Corps is acting up. What is it? M Menic? <laughs> I was hoping to drag this out a little longer. But that's a Master Corps. What? <gasps> no, Dad! So the Master Corps react to each other, I see. How interesting. You can drop the act. It's over. All this time? It was really you? Every second. You stand before the Lord of Cislodia, Ganabelt Valkyris, in the flesh. You mean... 
The Renin Lord's been leading the Danon resistance? You're not the only one skilled in the art of deception, you know. A mere side vocation in my own case, but sufficient in bringing the blazing sword of Calaglia to my post. <laughs> All of this was just to get to me? Alvin! Zephyr is... Dad! Dad! That's a special poison. Ordinary healing arts will do you no good. <laughs> I wouldn't fret about it, friends. You'll all be dead soon enough. Don't even think of escaping, dissident! We need to hurry. Otherwise, he'll... We're not getting out of here without a fight. No! No! Alvin? Time to let it rip! Run. Trouble to buy yourself a few extra seconds before you die. <sighs> you bastard! <laughs> They've fled. They'll be back, though. Draw up a welcome party. We'll be ready when they return. Looks like it for now. Come on, even if we did lose them, they'll be after us soon enough. Besides, we have Zephyr to worry about. The sooner we get back to the safe house, the better. <laughs> Zephyr! Let's get to the safe house, quick. Here, Dad. Please just... Oh, I can't see you. Are you there? Oh. Oh. Listen, I've always... I had a feeling we might have a rat among us. 
but to be Menek of all people. So what do we do now? I'm going. Law. That bastard Ganabelt will pay. You have to know that Ganabelt will be expecting us. This is all an obvious trap. I don't give a damn if it is. There's no way I'm letting that bastard get away with this. He's right, you know. Ganabelt. Mess with the wrong people. Alfin, you can't just... Weren't you the one who said you wanted to take on the Lords? Or would you rather go back to Calaglia? I won't allow you to put words in my mouth. All I'm saying is we shouldn't rush things. I don't need any of you coming along. The score is mine to settle. You're not the only one who wants to avenge Zephyr's death. He's right. Besides, if we don't take him on right now, we may never get another opportunity. <sighs> if you're going, that means you're going to need the Blazing Sword. If we do this, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Are you really sure? You can ask us again after we've defeated the Lord. Please, allow me to help you as well. Think of it as an apology for getting you into this whole mess. It's the least I can do. Feel free to use anything in here you might need. Aren't you worried about getting ambushed? Impossible. I built this hideout with my own two hands. Menek. No Ganabelt doesn't know it exists. Then let's go. Time to avenge Zephyr and free the realm's people. I forgot to mention this before, but any enemies we go up against with real hard defenses, you just leave them to me. Hard defenses? You mean like enemies with shields and things like that? Shields, shells, armor, whatever. When you attack those kinds of enemies from the front, your blows mostly get blocked, right? Sure. So you're saying you have a counter? It's nothing fancy. Let's just say I have a knack for busting open tough, sturdy stuff. It's hard to explain, but I focus my energy and then hit a specific point with everything I've got. If I do it right, their defenses come crumbling down. Really? But without Astral Arts, how could you possibly... If he says he can do it, then he can do it. We can trust him. <sighs> Thanks, Alfin. Although, between you and me, right now there's nothing I want to bash in more than Ganabelt's stupid smug face. I think you'll get your chance soon enough, Law. After all that, how can these people carry on like nothing happened? Didn't Zephyr's words reach anyone in that whole crowd? The Snake Eyes could be anywhere. People are scared of being reported, so they can't do jack. And speaking from experience, when you spend so much of your life as a slave, you stop even thinking of standing up and fighting. Calaglia had a lot of people like that. Well, these people are in no position to demand anything anyway, when they've lost the will to fight and need others to protect them. These people have had a hard enough time just keeping the fires lit. No one wants to sacrifice their life without good cause. It is what it is. Once Ganabelt is out of the picture, things in Cislodia are sure to change. Yeah, I hope so. Look sharp! 
Lightning Tiger Blade! That damn Ganabelt! I hate him! I'm not seeing very many enemies around. What's going on? They probably know we're not going to run away and are waiting for us to show up. Well, if it's a fight they want, I'll be more than happy to give them one. They're probably inside the Ravel prison tower in the plaza. That's where the Lord here lives. The same building with the spirit vessel that's gathering all the light, huh? We need to be careful of how we go from here. The fact Ganabelt knew about my healing arts and had that poison ready tells me he's extremely dangerous. He's not dangerous. He's just a rat bastard who's getting what's coming to him. I'm telling you, don't underestimate him. We don't know what else he's got in store for us. One misstep on our part is all it's going to take to give him what he wants. <sighs> You're right. Dad, what were you trying to tell me there at the end? I guess it'll have to stay unspoken and unheard. Like all the other things we never got round to telling each other. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shia. Ganabelt must be somewhere inside. How about it, Law? Any idea which way it is? This is a Renin castle. You think they were in the habit of letting a Danon like me inside? Point taken. The astral energy's off the scale. Almost like it's pressing down on me. You can feel it? The whole castle must be brimming with it. My hunch is it'll get stronger the deeper we go. It must be the spirit vessel. You can bet anything it's pulsing with stored astral energy. We can't let Ganabelt use it against us. Then we can assume that's his plan A. <laughs> let him try. I'll destroy anything he throws at us. Right. 
barely a blip on our radar. Hey! Hmm. Striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. This place looks completely different from Balsif's castle. Every Lord has their tastes. Whether this really suits Renan's sensibilities is another matter altogether. It's us Danans who built the structure, you know. How would we know what Renan's like? Who cares? Let's hurry up and get to the top floor so we can kick Danabelt's ass. Nice and tough. Looks like they're more for decorative purposes than actual combat. Does it matter? We've got a job to do. Wait, this isn't Renan. It's... Danon. Really? And not just this one either. All of these. It's all Danon gear. What's Danon equipment doing on display inside a Renan castle? Ask around later if you're so interested. But for now, we've got more pressing matters to attend to, remember? This open the door? We still don't know how to activate the elevator. We'll just have to see what we can figure out. That bastard giving us the run around.
Thinking about that armory with all the Dan and equipment? Yeah, especially that black armor. I don't think I've ever seen anything from Dana that looked so nice. I can tell you that it was definitely Danon. It was made using techniques found only here. That's how I know. But ever since the Renans came, our civilization's been scrubbed out bit by bit. Hardly anything's left now. Which is why most people don't remember. But why would the Renans have something like that? Unless it was the spoils of war. It must be a token of the Danans who fought and lost in the past. Or rather, that the Renans were able to beat them. Armor that nice must have been worn by a commander of some sort. They might have even been a Danan hero. A hero, huh? A fallen hero, maybe. I hate to see all that stuff fall into Renan hands, but it's amazing to see that so much of it has survived. You into this kind of stuff then, Renwell? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Are we done here? We don't want to keep Ganabelt waiting any longer.
With this, I can become even stronger!
Let's keep our eyes on the prize. You think the elevator's activated now? Should be. Let's check and find out. We're coming for you, Jenna Belt! Guys, what's up? We need to talk about Ganavelt. This guy can control both light and lightning, and I've heard his swordsmanship is unrivaled. I'm not surprised. He is one of the top lords, after all. That's not all. He also has these weird little gadgets that he likes to use. Gadgets? You mean like some kind of a Renin weapon? Probably. He's got a bunch of these things that hover all around him. They're supposed to protect him from attacks coming in at any angle. I take it there aren't any blind spots then? Nope. Which is why I plan to bust down his defenses from the front. What? Why? Isn't that where his defense will be the toughest? That's why it's worth attacking. Once I poke a hole in that bastard's defenses, the rest of you can tear it wide open and give him hell! All right. We go with your plan, Law. Now let's get going. It's about time we got revenge for Zephyr. It's about time. I was beginning to worry you'd jump ship like the rats you are. You're not so fortunate. We're here to end you. To liberate Cislodia. To avenge Zephyr. <laughs> you talk big, but don't you think you're forgetting something? Of your precious resistance groups, whether the Silver Swords or any others, none have ever dealt a blow to Renan domination. In each and every realm, the story is the same. Until you... <laughs> You, who wields the Blazing Sword of Calaglia, are different. News of Balsef's defeat really took the wind out of your sails. <laughs> that brute? A bad case of brawn over brain. Certainly no loss to me. Still, even the smallest of sparks can grow into an inferno. I must give precedence to the task at hand, extinguishing you. Snuffing out your fire before it spreads across the five realms. Rinwell? N nothing I'm fine. Ah, Ganabelt Valkyrus, Lord of Cislodia, accept your challenge. Come and meet your death. 
You'll pay for what you did to my father! <laughs> the feisty mouth which is to bite the hand that feeds, does he? I never wanted to serve you! I had no choice! Explosion! And where are you going? Dragon Swarm! First strike! Slay him for all! Perish my every attack! Leave this to me! I'll take him down! Dragon Swarm! Oh, now that Dragon Swarm! I think not! Cannibal! The barrier's been broken! Dispel! Everyone, swarm. focus your attacks! You pay for what you did! First strike! Now! Attack. Demon's descent! Flashing Fang! You're just getting started! Blazing Fang! Oh, did you hear it? Dragon Swarm! Rapid Fang! Thank you! Dream, see the despair! He's channeling astral energy! Damn it! I can't get any closer! If this keeps up... Tower of Hurricane! Whilst the depths of the despair consumes it! Dance to the wind! Who commands all the actual play? Take it! While Star Curse is fire to nothing! Blazing Flame! Who stands fade in the enemy's life? Immortal Droplet! You try! Watch this! Fire Blazing Hurricane! It's Payback Time, Worms! There's more than one of him? Some kind of moving illusion? Who cares? Just knock them all down! All good things Not come to an end. Dragon Swarm! You'll just blink and you'll miss it! Like you 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 this is looking good! to believe this. It cannot end this way. If I die, 
my subjects. It's over. That Zephyr's still gone. Focus on the positive. We defeated a lord. And under difficult circumstances, too. <laughs> Focus on the positive? Zephyr's dead, Shion. And the Renans ruled this world unimpeded for three centuries. Did you think there wouldn't be any sacrifices? So Zephyr's life? Just doesn't matter? He's dead, Shion. Our friend is dead. We're fighting this damn war to keep people alive. Yeah, you're right. This is a war. Did you just realize that? Zephyr wasn't the first to die, and he sure won't be the last. If you can't handle that, Alfin, then you should run back to Calaglia. And when you do, just remember to leave the Blazing Sword here, in safer hands. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Damn it. She just thinks she can say whatever she likes. Bickering among ourselves at a time like this isn't gonna get us anywhere. Especially at a time like this. <sighs> All right. Fine. So much for Ganabelt. Good riddance. You said it. So, was the Lord of Calaglia like Annabelle too? No. Balsef was huge, a real tough guy act. Now that I think of it, his crest was different too. His was a flaming cross. Ah, I see. Uh, anyway, what do you guys plan on doing from here? We keep moving. Three Renan Lords remain, and we won't rest until their thrones are empty as well. That work for you, Xion? That was my endgame from the beginning. Uh, hey, so if it's not too much trouble, could I maybe come along? Isn't Cislodia your home? I mean, yes, but it's just now that everyone knows what I've been hiding, well, it might be best to get as far away as I can until it all quiets down. Is that okay? I promise I'll pull my own weight. Sure. You're welcome to join us. Taking off, huh? Yeah. Thanks for everything. It's too bad. I wish there was more we could do to pay you back for all you've done. I'll see to it personally that Zephyr's remains reach Calaglia safely. What's next for Cislodia? I honestly couldn't tell you. The enemy infiltrated its way right to our core as a people. 
Only time will tell if we can rise above our suspicions and come together. Zephyr once told me that so long as you don't give up, there's no wall that can't be torn down. Sounds about right. And thanks to you, the greatest obstacle that was in our way is now gone. I suppose the rest of it will be up to us. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you head off, there's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? Scrub up real nice. It was a parting gift. It's like speaking to one of the old Dan and heroes from Legend. Where to next then? Elda Menencia. You're really going to travel in that thing? Why not? It's not as heavy as it looks. Actually, there's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. You can't be serious. Got some place to be? Not really. I mean, I can't stay here, of course. Then again, there's no one waiting for me back in Calaglia either. Plenty of ditches along the road. Maybe I'll find one to die in. How about a fresh start? After the kinds of things I've done, I don't know where I'd even begin. Your father said that as long as you face the past, there's hope. I think it might be a little late for that. He also said he'd fought and lost all his life, but didn't regret it in the slightest. <laughs> it's only over when you give up. Keep fighting and even that wall inside you can be brought down. Don't you want to see what your dad saw on the other side of that wall? What he was fighting for? Do you... Do you think I'm even worthy to? That's for you to decide. I... I'm sick of losing everything I love of running from life. Maybe all that's left is to just turn around and face it. Count me in. Finally, I thought you'd never finish. We've still got a ways to go. This armor was a gift from Bregan. What if it really did belong to a Danon hero once upon a time? He challenged an overwhelmingly powerful Renin foe and perished for it. I wonder how he felt having the hopes of the people riding on him. <laughs>